Hey guys, um, just wanted to do a quick video. I know I've been missing in action if you've been following any of my posts. Uh, October 23rd, um, I fell and slipped down the stairs at my mother's building. Apparently there was some grease, according to people um, that investigated. It was actually grease, I thought it was water. But it makes sense, it was extremely slippery. Anyway, um, you know, broken ankle, I have a, rod, a metal rod and two screws. Um, I needed a lot of um, care because if you do follow me, you know I, I have a bad right knee and I use a walking cane, a cute walking cane, of course, because, you know. Um, <laughs> um, so having a bad right knee and then breaking a left ankle kind of basically leaves me no, not basically. Actually, even leaves me immobile. So I'm having acute therapy at a rehabilitation center. The doctors at the hospital thought it would be better because their acute rehab is two weeks. Over here, in case I need more, um, they have, they focus on rehab completely here. So... Yeah, so on my right leg, I'm focusing on um, strengthening my... I'm so tired, my voice almost went out right now. I'm strengthening my all my core muscles, everything. Um, they, of course, they are aware that I have a bad knee and I'm not supposed to put stress on it. But I have to put stress on it. So I'm kind of, you know, in a shitty situation. Um, I have to depend now on my bad right leg. So... That's why I get heat therapy before and after. And management, of course, pain management from a broken left ankle and everything else. I'm doing exercise to strengthen my ankle, my upper thigh, core, everything. Um, I'm using all types of devices. I'm eventually gonna transfer to crutches to see if I can balance with my bad right leg. So, um, yeah, so um, I have heating pads on now, as you see, because um, the trauma on my knee actually swells all my entire leg up to my knee, and the sheen is like black and blue, that bone, the sheen bone, it's um, hurting a lot. It's actually hurting more now than my ankle is. Um, my ankle is, is bearable, but yeah, that is what's happening with me um I would say looking pale tired when you're going through cruciating pain um crying I am not um, ashamed or embarrassed to say crying cruciating pain tears I cried for like on and off so much for three days in the hospital where I actually lost my voice and I had to whisper and then my voice got extremely deep um, sounded like I had a cold and I'm not ashamed to say it it was breaking the I mean it got dislocated I'm glad that when they put the, the dislocation back of my ankle um, they actually numbed the area um, but it was still uncomfortable because the other parts of my upper leg was still hurting um, but yeah um, 2020 has been a year y'all it's been a year um, but I'm being well taken care of in this facility. I wasn't expecting to go, um, to a facility, but the things that were presented to me at the hospital make sense. They could only do like two weeks and that's for people who were able to deal with and handle their acute therapy. If it wasn't for my bad right knee and leg and I was able to, um, and it was extremely strong and I wasn't using a cane to help with my bad knee because you know I am due for a knee replacement. So if it wasn't for that, um, I would have been able, I would have been able to handle the acute therapy at the hospital. But since I cannot, and I need to be pampered more and provide care 24/7, um, and even though the therapy is acute, I'm doing six days a week. So. 
all those months of lack of activity during quarantine, I am doing it now, unfortunately for um, painful, bad reasons that wasn't my fault, but I'm doing six days a week, occupational therapy. Um, occupational is, um, is focusing on my upper strength, my arms, my shoulder, my hands, my wrists, because um, I'm gonna need all that to be as strong as possible in the event that I leave here with crutches, right? That's our goal, crutches. So they're working on that. And um, it's sort of like, I feel like I'm getting ready. I feel like an athlete getting ready um, for my sport event. And I need to strengthen all those core muscles um, that you normally don't think you need to use, but you actually utilize while you're in crutches. So occupational therapy comes in play with that. Um, so far I'm doing everything they tell me to do and I complete all my tasks. I don't care how much I'm paying. The deal is, um, let me bitch during the, um, therapy. Let me, um, besides, it's just basically let me bitch. I complain, I curse, I moan, I go, oh, that hurts, but I do it. So that's the compromise. If I feel like whining during it, I... I promised myself that I actually completed. I just need to ventilate verbally. <laughs> that's the goal. I mean, that's the, you know. So um, they've been great. And the physical therapy, of course, I'm focusing on getting um, my right knee better. <sighs> so um, in a nutshell, I uh, appreciate all the warm wishes. I appreciate everyone that's been checking in on me. Um, I decided to do a quick video. Um, strangely, I'm still not, um, I'm sort of now getting a little bit more, um, social. Um, I was, you know, of course I was depressed, I was upset, I mean, it, this is very difficult for me, but, um, I'll have to deal with this like I've dealt with every other, um, problems, um, medically that I've encountered in the past. And, and just deal with it the best that I can. Um, but um, attitude-wise, I think it's getting, I'm getting better. Um, I'm smiling more. Um, I'm smiling more through even the exercise, which is odd. Um, the first few days, um, I admit, first two days, um, doing the exercise, um, I was holding back tears um, because they have to do their job and make sure that I get strong to be able to be safe and at the home environment and I get it but the pain of exercising with, uh, with everything else going on my um, aches and pains that I usually get with my health issues and then my broken bone it's a lot going on on my body um, but the staff have been very nice at this facility. Um, I have a few old people here that fell. <laughs> so um, I, I tend to attract the old folks, so uh, they always want to talk to me. It's been an interesting experience, um, but I've been enjoying their company. They're lonely, you know, so I get it. Um, because of COVID, um, we're, I'm not allowed to have any visitors, so it's just me and um, FaceTime with family and friends. So, um, But I'm hanging in there, and once again, thank you guys for reaching out, texting me, sending me DMs, just following up on me. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I will be back in full effect. Um, whether it's the end of December or January, it could takes it could take six to eight weeks before um, possibly I am able to put weight on that ankle because I'm on non-bearing weight. So whatever I do, I have to hold myself up with my right leg, pivot, you know, with. With my right foot pivot, do whatever, and not to put any weight on that ankle. So, um, I'm hoping that I'm supposed to have my stitches out 
a stitch is out November 10th. So I'm looking forward to that because apparently when you take it out, um, some pressure is released. I hope so because I could feel, I've been feeling discomfort around the stitching. It feels like my skin is pulling. But I was told this is just healing, so it's good. Um, yeah, one day at a time, guys. Um, I'm even amazed that I'm even doing a video. Um, um, yeah, I'm even amazed I'm doing a video. Like I said, I don't care. I don't have all my hair products here. Eventually, I will. But um, I'm pale. I got bags under my eyes, of course, because I've. I don't. You can't sleep with chronic pain. Um, especially this level of pain that I went through. Um, so I'm kind of proud, proud of myself even to do this video to talk to you guys because my demeanor is changing, my personality is changing. Um, I'm, I'm laughing and joking more about stuff. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm still upset of that inconsiderate person that was throwing something out that was leaking because apparently it was several floors of that whatever grease or something was several floors but um it didn't lead to any specific apartment but it was several floors so um i'm assuming they they kept they threw it out and threw out the trash and went outside and never noticed it Never figured it was theirs, and you know, there's elderly people. My mother could have fallen down the, the staircase. Um, I'm glad it was me and not her. And I'm glad it didn't hit my head because I flew up in the air, landed on my butt and back, and I had a huge bruise, black and blue, on my butt cheek. Huge. It looked like a pancake. It was the size of IHOP. As a matter of fact. My black and blue was the size of a pancake from IHOP. That's what it reminded me. So, and they're a decent size. Think about black and blue that size. So, um, that's gotten better. I <laughs> think God. So, guys, keep me in my keep me in your prayers. Um, I'm trying my best to continue being me, not losing my personality in this, not, I haven't cried in a while, I'm hanging in there, I'm just going with the flow of things and finding the silver lining and everything and just finding ways to just laugh and crack jokes at this point because um, part of physically healing is mental as well. When you go through something like this, um, it affects you psychologically. My depression, anxiety, how, how can I, I mean, and I have a tremendous respect for those um, that have shared with me about their broken bone and their pain they went through. I have a tremendous respect for uh, people who broken their bone and actually have said in the past to me, you know, it's very painful, but you don't, you can't, even though I suffer from chronic pain physically, you can't, you can't relate because until you don't break a bone, you don't know what it is to break a bone. You know, it's a different level of pain. So now I know, and I have tremendous respect for you guys. Um, I know someone that broke their ankle. Um, and they have a bunch of screws. And somebody that broke their kind of shoulder, some fracture here. And they have a rod with metal. And, I mean, tremendous respect goes out to you guys. Um, I hope I never experience that again. Um, oh my God. Yes. So guys, um, I hope to see you again. I hope I could, um, keep, keep you guys, um, updated. Like, you know, I'm getting my heat therapy. Um, and if you're curious about how I'm moving around, wheelchair. As you see, my foot. In the heat therapy. Um, I'm, I'm trying to do my best. Yeah, so I'm moving around in a wheelchair. And I have to say, um, I'm pretty good with the wheelchair. Um, it's like driving a car. You have to know which 
which way to turn to park and make new turns and everything. So I'm so glad I've been driving for years because that's what it reminds me of is which direction should I be turning in order to go a certain direction and make it, you know, and manipulate the, the wheelchair. Listen, I have to get around. I have to do, I have to get out of my room. At least I'm in a private room. I'm glad I'm in a private room. I have a beautiful view. Maybe I'll show you guys next time the situation I'm in. But let me keep this short. Thank you very much. Continue. Um, you're more than welcome to continue shouting me out. Continue keeping me in mind, please. Um, send me all kind of positive vibes. Toward, I'm more spiritual than religion, than the religious. So send me all your positive energy. Think of me while you meditate. <laughs> Whatever you do, just send me positive energy. All right, guys. Um, take care. Thank you so much. And remember, don't compare your pain to others or your others to yours. Everyone is on a different path. Everyone is fighting a different problem. And just be kind to one another. Okay, thank you. This is And I know this is a stressful time. And take a break from the political stuff. It's going to be a while until we know who's going to win. Okay, during the election. Just take a break. Too much. Okay, guys? <laughs> Bye.